back to another episode of the Iron Pulse Podcast. Today, Kyle and I are going to be discussing an ideal photo shoot, what you should have, maybe where you should go, um, just what we've learned along the way going from never taking a picture basically in our life to having done probably at least 15 different photo shoots, um, I would say now. We've probably done 15, right? I feel like we've we've done 15 yeah, alone. We've, we've definitely done I. a lot of them. So... And learned a lot too. Right. So, um, yeah, learned a lot along the way. Uh, so yeah, Kyle, we can kind of get right into it. I think that let's, let's start with like, what, like, what are some of the things that, you know, people should have when I'm can't like camera aside, like what are some things that people should have, um, when doing a photo Um, I think, uh, well, one of the things we talked about was having a good camera. I think having a good camera is important. So, um, I know you have a good one, so I'll let you uh, talk about the camera. Um, but I think another thing that's important is having a plan. Uh, I think when we first started shooting for photo shoots, we kind of just picked a location and showed up and as time went on and we did more and more photo shoots, we found it to be much more beneficial for both our time and the people that were uh, gracious enough to come and help us with photo shoots time just to make everything efficient is having a plan, knowing exactly what you're going to do for the shots. Um, have an idea, you know, if you have an idea for an item, whether it's a clothing item or a product that you're shooting, having an idea of how you want that item to be marketed or displayed and creating a plan for your photo shoot around that is important. Uh, it'll help you, you know, just kind of help visualize what you want to capture with that specific item wherever you're doing the photo shoot and you're not just randomly aimlessly taking pictures um, of something and then get back to find out that you don't really have a, you know, you might have a ton of pictures, but there's not really any consistent theme or plan around them. So um, understanding your product and how you, how you want to market it and then planning a photo shoot around that is, is uh, important. Yeah. And I would say that with the camera, so to backtrack a little bit, like it's, if you are very new to having a camera, um, you're definitely going to want one that has good like autofocus uh, that maybe can take care of like the white balance and just, you know, the other, uh, you know, settings like automatically for you. And this is just because you might not have the best understanding of what makes up a good picture, like how to add like really good color, like prior to editing. Right. Um, so, you know, that's just something that Kyle and I, we, we did to start out, like we were on auto and that's just because like when it came down to being manual, we didn't necessarily like understand everything to begin. Um, so we just wanted to capture the good, you know, good pictures to start out and granted, like we're, we're no tech experts, especially when it comes to cameras. Uh, but we've been shooting with the Sony a6400 and this is because, you know, I, I, well, I think the, the main reason for Sony that I, that I like Sony is because the length uh, the lenses are interchangeable. So like the lenses are where you're going to get like the really good crisp quality of the image. And with, you know, with uh, Sony, like you could take any Sony lens per Sony camera and like just swap it out. So if my friend, like if Kyle had, you know, a Sony camera and he was using, you know, a certain type of lens, we could take it off of his and put it on mine. You can't really do that with all Canon cameras. Um, and I think, I think Sony just does it the best in, in that sense. But, um, if, if you are new as well, you might just want like a point and shoot or like a DSLR camera as well. Um, those will be, uh, they have some newbie cameras out there, but I would say that you don't need to necessarily go and spend, you know, two, three, four grand on a camera, unless like you're super serious into getting into like videography and camera. But if it's just like a weekend spoof of like, oh, hey, I like this, I'm gonna get into it. And then you end up don't getting into it, you don't wanna waste that money. Especially because you're gonna need more gear when it comes with it and the lenses are very, very expensive. So other than that piece, when it comes to a photo shoot, like you wanna make sure that you have the, you know, you, you have good lighting, right? The aesthetics match what your brand is trying to show and tell as a story. And, um, you know, kind of along those lines as well, like change, change up the locations a little bit. Like Kyle and I, we've shot, I don't even know, all over. We shot college campuses. We've shot in the woods. We've shot downtown. Like there's just been, we shot in, you know, my living room 
Um, so there's just been a lot of different places that we've gone, but try to do, you know, try to, try to do as much as you can in pre before you go to post. If your editing skills in like Lightroom, for example, uh, aren't necessarily the best. So you're, you're going to want to make sure that you capture the good images to begin with. Cause to Kyle's point, like you, you could put the camera on, you know, like continuous when it comes to shooting and you might be like, you, you might not be focused, the color might be off. And then you just snapped, you know, uh, a thousand pictures and you, you really only like four of them. It's not about the quantity over quality when it comes to doing any photo shoot, whether it's for people or landscape environment, like whatever the case is. So that's, yeah, that's a good piece of advice that I would have. And to Kyle's, to Kyle's point, like he, he had talked about this a little bit earlier too, it's, it's having a game plan. Like you want to have a plan and Kyle and I, we've had, we've done both. We've walked in, had no idea, no plan, no mood board, no, uh, you know, no story that we were trying to tell, no nothing. And those have probably been some of the worst photo shoots for us. And that's just because like, we didn't necessarily know like what we wanted to capture. We, we didn't know what we were trying to tell or show with our images and with the items and you, you need some like choreography in terms of having a, a visual layout of what you want. And you, know, you, you might not necessarily be the best with choreographing a photo shoot. So if you know somebody who is, if you know somebody that is able to do this or you hire somebody um, that, you know, you can, that can come help you, then uh, you know, make sure that they can tell a story. Like you want to work with people that understand what you're trying to get across to the end consumer, right? So I, I would say that, that that's probably, aside from having like a nice camera, like being able to make it visually appealing and get your point across of what you're trying to show, it's, you know, that's uh, what like the most important part. Because Kyle and I, like we have looked at a few brand stories and a few like ads, I guess to, uh, is the best way to put it um, on like TikTok or Instagram. And those are the ones that still stick with us. Like we'll send them back and forth and be like, wow, these are amazing. And they're amazing. One, because they're shot very well. And two, because they don't necessarily shove the product in your face. They shove a relatable scenario, a relatable situation, like, you know, something that triggers your feelings, your emotion, um, you know, they shove that in your face, right? And they're like, oh my God, I this happened to me before, right? So it's it's very important to know what you're trying to capture. Uh, other than, and then that, Kyle, did you have anything else when it comes to, you know, just Lightroom presets, uh, maybe having a drum, capturing different angles? Yeah, I think you kind of touched on it. I think uh, having an editing software, whether I know there's, um, you know, I don't know if DaVinci is just a, substitute for video editing but i'm sure there's a lot of different editing softwares lightroom is probably the one that we've used the most for editing photos and just having the understanding that lightroom is not going to magically fix any photos but it can definitely enhance photos if you have them um, so use that to your advantage if you're trying to bring out certain colors or create a certain type of theme for posting it's a it's a good resource to know how to use and and uh, work with when you're editing photos from a photo shoot Yep. No, I would agree. I would agree. Optimize your workspace, whether it be small, large, have a game plan. Uh, try to do it yourself if you want to learn. You know, make sure you have good lighting, you have a good camera. If you're, if you're using props, you know, like utilize your props uh, well, I would say. Don't just have, you know, a plant in the background when you're trying to you know, do an, do an ad for Snickers bars or something like that, right? Like you want to make sure that everything fits. Uh, other than that, I think that we could end it here, Kyle, unless you have anything else. Yeah, I think the last thing I would say is just have fun with it. Um, we don't have to go into a, a whole lot of detail, but, you know, Cam and I have gone to some really cool places to do photo shoots. You don't necessarily have to just do a bunch of bunch of boring ones, but you can definitely make the most of any situation that you're in for a photo shoot. And you can also uh, try to plan cool places to go do uh, photo shoots if it matches what you're trying to market. Yep. You don't have to be a pro, just be enthusiastic uh, and have a game plan. 
So with that, we can wrap it up here. We hope that you liked and found value in this episode. Please feel free to share it with your friends and family. As always, thank you for taking the time to listen. You can come be a part of the Envision Nation Discord, and you can follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, at Official Iron Pulse. If you prefer email, we've got you covered. You can subscribe to the Iron Pulse Report by visiting shopironpulse.com. We actually have some uh, emails coming out here soon for the rest of the year, just you know, explaining the 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 deals and the new items that we're going to be launching. And remember, no matter what you do, be all in.